flames started by electric space heaters, and it's important to remember by other home appliances too, can spread so fast with a high probability of spreading thick, toxic smoke as well. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan reports from the Nassau County Fire Academy with a fire demo in hopes of preventing another tragedy. I'd ask right now that we have a moment of silence to say our prayers for those who passed in the Bronx fire. Prayers are pouring in as leaders urge residents everywhere to learn from the Bronx tragedy. At Nassau's Fire Academy, we were shown important measures for the safe use of space heaters wherever you live. Do not use these when they're not attended when you fall asleep. You don't want to plug it into an extension cord or a power strip that is at least three to five feet away from anything that would burn. The chief fire marshal demonstrated how things go quickly wrong. Clothing, bedding, sheets, anything like that that comes in contact with that space heater. Mind you, we're less, less than a minute into this fire and you see it's already started to burn the couch, starting to make its way across the room onto the carpet. The smoke alarm is activating, giving time to escape. Shut the door. And in bigger buildings, make sure fire doors are unobstructed. Such accidents don't happen only in large dwellings. Stoves, dryers, electrical outlets, and space heaters malfunction and cause fires every day in residential houses. Since the mid-1970s, multiple Long Islanders have died. Dozens of others left injured or homeless in fires sparked by space heaters. Shutting doors saves lives. Like shutting an oven, like shutting the toaster oven. You contain that fire, you contain that smoke. Randy Marshall, Newsday editorial writer and columnist, escaped exploding smoke and flames in her townhouse last week. We were having dinner and relaxing as a family, and I smelled smoke, and then I saw smoke. I screamed, and we ran, grabbed the dog. I'm on the phone calling 911 as we're running out the door. That smoke, you know, made me think also in terms of the Bronx fire, that smoke fills you up so fast. In an emergency, people are panicking. Having a plan to escape is important. Practicing that plan is even more important. From the Nassau Fire Academy, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. December, January, and February are peak months for space heater related fires, injuries, and death. That information, according to the National Fire Protection Information Association. We continue to follow the deadly high rise fire on all of our platforms. For information on how you can uh, help those who are affected, go to CBSNewYork.com and you can click on Help Bronx Fire Victims. There's a button there on our homepage.